kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see how to solve a 14 marks problem in the amalgamation now the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question and when i am solving the problem kindly keep the question in parallel with the solution whatever i am explaining so p limited and r limited decided to amalgamate their business and form a new company called pr limited so P limited company is there and R limited company is there. The both are getting amalgamated, merged as PR limited. Their balances on the date of amalgamation were as follows. So they have given the balance sheet of both the company. Then the terms and conditions of the amalgamation were as follows. PR limited agreed to take all assets and liabilities of both the companies. So PR limited transfer company is taking the assets and liabilities of the both transferer company the liquidation expenses in case of p limited was rupees 6000 and r limited was rupees 7500 which were borne by pr limited so the purchasing company is borning the is bearing the liquidation expenses of p limited as well as r limited pr limited agreed to pay the purchase consideration to both the companies in equity shares of rupees 10 each and also rupees 20 each as additional amount in cash so they are giving additional capital 20,000 and remaining balance of purchase consideration by the issue of equity shares of rupees 10 each the authorized capital of PR limited was rupees 20 lakh so the authorized capital was rupees 20 lakh in e shares of rupees 1 sorry 10 each so the authorized capital of this PR limited company okay it was 20 lakh in equity shares of rupees 10 each show the opening entries in the books of PR limited so in the books of PR limited we need to show the opening entries now first what we need to do in this problem we need to calculate the purchase consideration so on top right here calculation of purchase consideration now what we need to do first we need to take all the assets so first take all the assets now what and all the assets we have first we have that is stock so how much is the value of stock it is 8 lakh for R limited it is 4 lakh second we have debtors so for p limited it is 4 lakh debtors and for r limited it is 1 lakh next we have that is land and building land and building for p limited it is 3 lakh and no land and building for this r limited next we have plant and machineries plant and machinery how much it is it is 5 lakh for p limited and for r limited it is 3 lakh next we have cash at bank cash at bank for p limited it is 1 lakh and for r limited it is 1 lakh Next we have furniture. For P limited it is 1 lakh and R limited no furniture. Now add all this we will get total book value of assets. Total book value of assets. Now add both the column. When you add all this you will get 20 2 lakh and here we are getting 9 lakh now for this you need to reduce the liabilities less liabilities now what and all liabilities equity shares we should not consider general reserve also we should not consider so we should consider secured loan 
secured loan of r limited is 6 lakh and here it is 1 lakh then sundry creditors also we should consider so sundry creditors of p limited is 6 lakh and here it is 4 lakh now add these two we will get total liabilities here it is 12 lakh and here it is 5 lakh now minus 22 lakh from 12000 we will get that is 10 lakh next minus 5 lakh from 9 lakhs we will get that is 4 lakh what is this this is known as purchase consideration purchase consideration now we need to know the discharge of purchase consideration so they are told that by the issue of equity shares of rupees 10 each so equity shares of rupees 10 each so it will be 10 lakh only and 4 lakh and they have told additional capital they are giving so they are even paying apart from this 10 lakh and 4 lakh they are giving additional capital of rupees 20000 each 20000 and 20000 so in total how much they are giving here they are giving 10 lakh 20000 and here they are giving 4 lakh 20000 now we need to pass the journal entries this is our purchase consideration this we need to think that is purchase consideration because additional 20 20000 they are giving so we need to pass the journal entries so it is journal entries in the books of pr limited so now they are purchasing the business so first now in bari beko business purchase account first now business purchase account anta bari beko so business purchase account debtor to what are the businesses they are purchasing they are purchasing p limited and r limited so the company is getting liquidated so here you need to write the liquidator of p limited account to liquidator of liquidator of r limited account so in purchase consideration we calculated it is 10 lakh 20000 and this is 4 lakh 20000 totally it will be 14 lakh 40000 the narration will be being business purchased being business purchased ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ನ ಡೆಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಬಿಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಟು ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಗೆ ಇವರು ಟೆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಇದೆರಡು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಈಗ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಡೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ so stock of p limited is 8 lakh and stock of r limited is 4 lakh both if you add it will be 12 lakh next we have debtors account debtors debtors of p limited is 4 lakh and debtors of r limited is 1 lakh so total debtors is amounted to rupees 5 lakh debited next we have landen building landen building so the landen building of p limited is 3 lakh so there is no landen building for r limited 
so directly you can write here as 3 lakh next we have plant and machinery plant and machinery so plant and machinery we have so plant and machinery of p limited is 5 lakh plus r limited is 3 lakh so total it is 8 lakh next we have cash at bank we have cash at bank account how much is a cash at bank account uh, for p limited it is 1 lakh and for r limited also it is 1 lakh so debit it how much it will be 2 lakh now any other assets we have yes furniture is there so write that furniture account so it is only for p limited is there how much 1 lakh now leave two lines and now write all liabilities so what and all the liabilities we have first we have uh, equity shares we should not consider okay leave that equity shares consider other liabilities then general reserve we have general reserve also we will be not consider because that is related to equity shares only we have what secured loan account secured loan account how much is a secured loan account so for uh, p limited it is 6 lakh and r limited 1 lakh so total it will be 7 lakh next we have sundry creditors to sundry creditors here 6 lakh and here 4 lakh so total it will be 10 lakh now so here they are purchasing the business PR limited is purchasing the business of R and P limited for 14 lakh 40 thousand so it has a liability to pay towards them 14 lakh 40 thousand that liability we should show here so to business purchase account so liability is in the Adnail Bari TV to business purchase account is to 14 lakh 14 lakh 40 thousand now add all these three items we will get 31 lakh 40 thousand from the 31 lakh 40 thousand subtract all the assets we will get a balance of 40 thousand what is this 40 thousand it is nothing but our goodwill account 40 thousand is a goodwill account and it is a balancing figure balancing figure so all assets and the abilities we have done so the narration will be being all assets and liabilities taken over being all assets and liabilities taken over will be the narration second entry is over now third entry now it's time to pay them the purchase consideration to whom we are paying the purchase consideration now pr limited is paying the purchase consideration to p limited as well as to liquidator of r limited for these two people they have to pay the purchase consideration so for this one how much we need to pay here we have written for p limited it is 10 lakh 20 thousand and for r limited it is 4 lakh 20 thousand so 10 lakh 20 thousand and 4 lakh 20 thousand so Together it will be 14 lakh 20 thousand. That how we are paying? You are paying through the issue of equity share. So equity share capital account you are giving. In question they have given. And you are even paying additional capital. Which is we will be showing under bank account. This is the additional capital what you are paying. Additional how much you are paying? The additional you are paying 20 thousand for R limited and 20 thousand for P limited so totally you are paying additional capital of 40,000 so now the remaining balance will be 14 lakh that you are issuing through equity shares 
see through the issue of equity shares 10 lakh plus 4 lakh 14 lakh you are giving an additional capital 20 20 plus 20000 you are giving 40000 so that we have shown here the narration for this will be being purchase consideration paid being purchase consideration paid now in adjustment they have told that PR Limited agreed to pay the purchase consideration of both the companies in equity shares that is over. Next, before that one line is there, the liquidation expenses in case of P Limited was 6000 and R Limited was 7500 which was borne by PR Limited. So now PR Limited is paying the liquidation expenses. So it is paying means money is going out so to bank account and it is paying from this extra money that is goodwill. So goodwill account debtor to bank account. So how much it will be? This is 6000 for P limited plus 7500 for R limited. Total it will be 13500. Our liquidation expenses na PR limited pay maartai there. Narration will be being liquidation expenses paid. Being liquidation expenses paid. So this is how you need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood this problem very well. The notes I have put in the first comment. Kindly download the notes and study well. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.